Hey folks and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. I wish I had some good news for you, but the world is on fire. Greece just got attacked the past couple days. The fires are everywhere around the world now. Heat records everywhere around the world now. It is relentless. It's ongoing out here in California. We've seen laser attacks, directed energy weapons used in Santa Rosa, in Santa Barbara. And it's now we're showing in Greece and other areas that directed energy weapons are the weapons of choice to start these fires, to continue these fires, to basically burn out uh, the forest and all the uh, inhabitants in the forest, like people that live there. Here's all the cars that have been attacked with directed energy weapons around the world, and I'm trying to write a book about it, but uh, just have to update. But here in Greece, just uh, the reports from yesterday, another uh, look at these flames, folks. These are not normal forest fire flames. Look at that. That is not fueling from, from brush and from debris and from dried out brush. That's insane to think that is happening. But now Greece is under attack. You remember Greece has had the massive debt uh, loaded upon them from the Greek Olympic Games and whatnot. But if you can see from these pictures, they're spot fires. They're like they took lasers and they bolted them here and they shot them here and they shot them there. Just like we saw here in Santa Rosa, California, it's the same kind of exact profiles. Look at how the flames are concentrated, shooting hundreds of feet straight up in the air. What would cause that kind to happen? So our hearts go out to the residents of Greece and around the world, as we'll get into here in a minute, because there's heat records going on everywhere, fires going on, as I said, everywhere. Look at these flames, folks. This is not just a normal fire. And we, our heart goes out to all the, the animals and all the sentient beings who are having to deal with these fires as well. I mean, this is really uh, loss of life, human life, all life being conducted but as you can see from these pictures here just like the pictures from around the world directed energy weapons are melting cars it takes over 2500 degrees to melt glass engine blocks are totally fried out of the cars it's another signature of directed energy weapons the world is under attack from the elite we must delete the elite they're going to kill us all before they're done and look at this map of the fires going on around Europe everywhere it is intense and then look at this heat map that's been going on I just fast forward since 1991 but look at how much the heat has increased these are temperature anomalies they're calling it no the world's on fire and it's heating up and here you see it all over the world and no one is safe no one is protected so let's go around the world and I'll show you what I'm talking about about the record temperatures here in Alaska they're shattering existing records records in temperature like plus 20 degrees that's how bad and the Arctic melting is going on releasing methane gas Sweden's on fire the Arctic Circle as Europe boils on it is intense everywhere I'm sorry I can't have better news for you but here we see just they're calling for help. The uh, Sweden has had to call in for assistance from the European Union. It never usually gets fires up north like that far up north, but now it's drying out. Central Africa and Northern Africa is completely on fire. Look at this heat map of all the fires going on as well. And then we have Japan setting record temperatures, having a heat wave killed at least 50 people. So even Asia is not being immune from all the fires and the heat records going on as well. And then we bring it back home to the United States. Texas is having overwhelming electric grids and residents in Texas as major league heat waves is going on. Meanwhile, there's relentless flooding going on on the East Coast as rain, rain, and more rain is continuing on the East Coast. But just a few months ago, it was the coldest record on record in the continental United States on the East Coast in two states. I mean, how does this happen where we have record heat, record cold? This is the new normal. So check out this video from yesterday up in Lake Tahoe, California, where the massive hailstorm hit. Unreal. We're under fire. Ow, that one hurt. He hit me in the side.
and California had its own heat waves that recorded 118 degrees in Los Angeles, where they also had the Goleta fires, where the Santa Barbara fires occurred last December. They came and attacked them again, directed energy weapons, and then we had a flood in Montecito following the exact same footprint. The whole western United States is on fire, folks. It was on fire last year. It's on fire again. They're calling it the new normal that we'll always have a year-round fire season as we're seeing fires break out everywhere. Out here in California, they're putting up drones to monitor fires as well, and they're also having uh, wildfires in Oregon, California, and they're telling us it's going to get worse as well. So Oregon's fire started last week. They say there were over 2,800 lightning strikes. 2,800 lightning strikes in July in Oregon. Are you kidding me? The new normal, folks. No one is safe. We can't get away from it. Owning the weather by 2025 as a U.S. Air Force military document. What do you think they're doing, folks? We're under attack. Yosemite's wildfires, they start out and then they double in size. Lake County, we had the fire and then it doubled in size. This is the new normal and out here in Sacramento, it's causing blistering rashes from the smoke. I got my body covered with rashes as well. It's ugly, it's terrible. Not only that, Sacramento now is being sprayed in Elk Grove to wipe out mosquitoes because now the Zika virus is coming again and so they must spray, spray, spray. And then the FEMA is denying that climate change is even existing whatsoever. There can be no doubt that directed energy weapons are being used to start these fires around the world. Not every fire, of course, but the signature, the profiles of the massive heat, the melting of cars, the middle of the night, no one knows how it started. Firemen seen, never seen anything like this before. The first responders are being put in harm's way. So we must say our prayers, we must speak out, we must share this, and we must speak against the evil being perpetrated on us all. This is the future of all. If we don't speak out, we don't stop it now. Plain truth out. Peace. Love one another. Be prepared. Be ready.